Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today is day two of our triple seven chakra challenge. And we're going to get started with our sacral chakra practice or our Svadhisthana practice. So take your hands and rest them in your lap, making sure you are in a comfortable seated position. You're going to rest your right hand on top of your left and let your thumbs touch each other. And if you would like to deepen your practice, you can take on the mantra VAM. Take an inhale through your nose. Exhale out the mouth. Inhale through your nose. Exhale out the mouth. One more inhale. And exhale. Release the hands. Rest your right hand down on the ground beside you. Sweep this left arm up and over, reaching over to the right. Right forearm can come to the ground. Let your gaze come up towards the sky. Take an inhale, come through the center. Exhale, lower the left hand down. Bring the right arm up and over. Left forearm can rest down on the ground if you like. Inhale. Exhale, come back to a neutral spine and float your body up to a table position. From your table position, begin to walk your hands forward about a foot or so, and we'll begin to melt our chest down towards the mat, flipping that tailbone upward, opening up the sacral chakra here. Maybe you can even let your chin come down to the mat. Inhale. Exhale, walk those hands back. And we're going to round the spine, tucking our tailbone under. You could come up on the fingertips and just slightly float your hips back, coming to cat pose. Take an inhale, float your body forward. Let's round the spine, come back one more time. Inhale, exhale, float your body back forward, coming back to a table position. Tuck the toes under, lift the hips up and back. And we're going to extend that right leg straight back. Inhale, bend at the knee and look up under the armpit if you can. Exhale, go ahead and take the right knee. Bring it up in between the hands as you extend the left leg back. Come into pigeon pose. Hands are planted into the mat and we're going to open the chest here. If you wanna come down to sleeping pigeon, you can. Take an inhale. Exhale, tuck that back toe under and we'll come back to down dog or however you get there is fine. And then we'll extend that left leg back. Bending at the knee, looking up under the armpit. Float that left knee forward in the space up in between the hands. Extend that right leg back. Lifting the chest. If you wanna to come to sleeping pigeon, feel free. Take an inhale, exhale, tuck that back toe under, come back to down dog or, ho or however you choose to get there. Inhale in your down dog. Exhale, drop down to those knees. 
and we're going to bring those legs out in front. You can make sure you're on those sits bones. Sweep the arms up, inhale. Exhale, lead with the chest. Let's come down to a seated forward bend. And just let those hands fall as far as they can. Letting that sacral chakra connect with the ground. Feel free to come down a little deeper if you like. Inhale. Exhale, roll up to a seated position. Bend your knees and bring your feet flat on the ground. We're going to scoot our hips close to our heels, coming down to our back and letting those knees fall open as the bottoms of the feet come together. You can rest one hand over your heart and one hand on your belly and we'll move into our short Shavasana. Taking a deep inhale and exhale. And on your next inhale, bring the color orange into your mind. Let that color orange fill your body. Silently repeat this affirmation to yourself. I feel inspired and passionate. Breathe in that affirmation, inhale and exhale. Feel free to rest down into your Shavasana for the next few moments. Otherwise, this completes day two of our triple seven chakra challenge. I'll see you tomorrow for day three for our solar plexus challenge. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Peace and love.